That is a beauty. Come on. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope it all well. What a stunning morning. Beautiful. We've even got sunshine. I know, sunshine. Unbelievable. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't resist coming back down to another one of my old faithfuls, the mouth of the River Esk in Newport, South Wales. Now, the last video I made down here was uh, last June. So what's that? That's a good 10 months ago. It's been a while and uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing what's out there. High water, it's in around three hours time. 10.9 meters, which in old money for Newport is 12.6 because we add 1.7. A nice size tide for this spot. Right, let's get cracking. Let's take it all in. Let's enjoy it. Happy days. You probably can't see me very well at the moment because of this uh, bright sunshine. Although, that's not a bad thing. Especially if you're having your dinner. <laughs> anyway, baits are out there. Love that first cast, the anticipation. On the left hand rod, there's a 3-0 pulley panel. At the moment on that one, I've got a whole squid with a big bunch of ragworm on its back. On the right down rod, there's a 3-0 Paternoster panel. And on that one, I've got a nice chunk of mackerel, again, with some ragworm on its back. I haven't got the cheapy old boat rod today. Come back to that a little bit later on. So uh, I pulled out one of my tally old rods from the garage uh, to act as a third, third rod. I'm going to stick a two hook flapper rig on that one, size one o's, and we'll have a scratch around. Still very early on in the season. We're now, ooh, last week of March. So uh, things in terms of this part of the world haven't quite picked up as of yet, but there's always that chance. Potential species today, 
uh, conger eel, thornback ray, bass, some early bass, uh, flounder. I'll give it a good crack. Bit of flood water coming down the rivers. Um, I'm right on the confluence here, where the mouth of the River Ebu meets the mouth of the River Esk. So uh, we'll see if that fresh water is a factor. But like I always say with sea fishing, you just never know what's going to happen. Bit of cloud moving in now, so uh, not a bad thing to be honest. Might make it a bit easier for filming. Come on. Nothing as of yet, but uh, then again, I've only been fishing for around 25 minutes. As for that third spare rod, I'm going to wait, I don't know, half an hour, and then we'll get the old flapper rig on it. Such a nice spot, this. And even if you blank, it doesn't really matter because uh, just a beautiful place to be. Yeah, my last video was down uh, Dunbarry, uh, on the left-hand side of Nails Point. Yeah, good day that. A lucky break in the weather. The dogfish kept me busy, <laughs> although uh, I did miss a lot of bites. While I'm filming, um, I put so much emphasis into the filming, and I forget about the fishing. I mean that, honestly. <laughs> And uh, I know it's hard to believe, but when I just go fishing without the camera, I do actually catch more fish. Or I miss less fish, if that makes sense. Or miss less bites. Yeah, my priority is to, um, you know, make sure the camera work is uh, up the scratch. I try anyway. That's the two hook flapper rig sorted on that third rod. Just like a bell on the end of it so uh, I can focus on the two main rods. We're about an hour off high water now. Not a touch as of yet, but uh, I'll keep the faith. Yeah, that two hook flabber rig, really close, 20 yards out. Whereas the two main rods, I've given those a bit more of a whack. I'm going to have to move back in a sec because uh, the gullies either side of me are starting to fill up. But uh, on today's tide, medium sized tide, so uh, no need to worry. And if I did need it, which I won't, but if I did, Straight behind me, there's a nice escape route. Of course, I wouldn't come to this mark on a bigger tide, far too dangerous. Like a summer's day now. It did go really cloudy. But, uh, blue skies once again. Forty-five minutes off high water. 
What are my confidence levels like? No comment. <laughs> nah, I'm enjoying it. If I catch, I catch. If I blank, I blank. Although, I am going to get one fish. You watch. Just jinxed it, but uh, there we are. Yeah, going back to the uh, cheapy old boat rod. The reason why I haven't got that today is because uh, I'm in the process of rebuilding it. That was Dad's. He bought it from uh, Lidl, you know, the supermarket. Um, it came as a kit with a reel, etc. And uh, the reel was missing. So uh, they put it into their bargain bin. Dad picked it up for something like seven quid. And like me, he used it as a spare third rod. And between the two of us, we've caught a lot of fish on that. And I didn't want to touch it because it was Dad's, but um, it got to the point whereby it was so battered, the tip guide uh, has come off, two or three of the guides are damaged. And I've taken the plunge and I thought, just get it then. So if I do blank today, that's the reason why. No cheapy old boat rod. The old faithful. I'll only have to move back once today. Once and once only. Yeah, I came down here for a walk about two weeks ago and uh, have the camera with, with me, as I do. Always carry that just in case I spot anything. And there were some massive ships coming out of Newport Docks, which I managed to film. So uh, at some point during this video, I'll show you those. Yeah, it was impressive. Bang on high water now, not one single bite. Don't get me wrong, I know that uh, it's a difficult time of the year when it comes to this part of the world, but even so, I did expect a bite or two. But there we are. The water is like a mill pond. That gentle southwesterly we had earlier completely gone. On the left arm rod, I've just whacked out a big mackerel bait, straight mackerel. And uh, right arm rod, 
whole squid, big bunch of ragworm. As for the two hook flapper that's in close, trying all sorts. Yes, yeah, so far it's been hard work. Will the ebb produce a bit of magic? And a nice bite then guys on this uh, right down rod. Fish on, fish on. Oh, he's uh, pulling a bit. Feels like a nice one. This is either a big fish or it's a smaller fish with something stuck on it. A conga, you guys about twenty pound. What a fish! Woohoo! Woohoo! 
That is a beauty. Come on. Like I said, he's not far off 20 pounds. He's got a big old head, thick girth. That is a cracker. What a lovely fish. There we go. Oh, the strength is incredible. Yeah, that can't be far off 20. Oh. I got no idea, guys, if you can see it. And I got this bright sunshine in my face, but this is all guesswork in terms of the camera. So hopefully uh, I'm showing it all right. And I hope it's true size is coming across. What a beast. On a whole squid with a big bunch of ragworm. Good old ask mouth. Yeah, that's not, uh, in fact, yeah, that's about five foot long. Maybe a little bit longer. Let's pop him back in. He's gone. Woohoo! Out she goes, ebbing back now. As you saw, that conger went back like a treat. I held it in the water for maybe a minute or so. I felt it kick. Off he shot. Beautiful sight when they swim off. Now, when I struck into that, I thought that's a good fish but here you've got a bit of an incline on the mud and um, obviously you're battling against that as well so I wasn't quite sure what it was you know usually you can tell within the first 30 seconds what you got on the line so I went from thinking it's a big fish to then thinking maybe it's a small fish with a log stuck on the line because with it being on the river mouth you get lots of logs, lots of debris, flotsam, etc., coming down the river. Uh, you know, that happens a lot. Um, it wasn't really fighting like a conga. I couldn't feel that classic twist and turn, you know, twist, bounce, 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 twist, bounce, bounce, bounce. Couldn't feel that. So I was then thinking, maybe it's a big thornback, because you've got some cracking thornbacks here. I didn't think it was a bass because it just wasn't aggressive enough, the fight. But uh, when I saw his head emerge from the water, I knew that was a cracker. Good old, my Abu Garcia Connellon rod. That's now, how old is that? Uh, nearly 25 years old. I rebuilt it twice in its time. Still going strong. Over the moon, one bite, one fish. Hey, that'll do me. Down to, the, uh, down to the two rods now. I've got this rod out with the um, same bait as what I just caught that conger on. Whole squid with a big bunch of ragworm. And um, I've still got the Turk flabber rig in action. Not long to go now. We got maybe another 30 minutes of fishing left or maybe 40 minutes. Uh, we'll see if we can get a nice thorn bag or maybe a bass or another conger. I don't mind me. Be nice to get a flounder on the old flabber rig. <laughs> he 
Yep, she's whizzing back now. Last cast, I'll give those rods five minutes and uh, that will be that. I'll be completely honest, since I caught that conga, I've not really fished properly. <laughs> I've been far too excited. You know what it's like. But uh, look, fishing wise, it's been hard work. One bite, one fish. But uh, I'm gonna call this video, The Mouth, The Magic. Yeah, that sounds quite nice, doesn't it? The Mouth, The Magic. Because once again, one of my old faithfuls has provided me with a nice bit of magic and has also provided me with a memory that will last a lifetime. I'll be able to talk about this for years to come. Remember when I caught that big conga? Yes, Gar, you told us 25 times already. I know, I know, I can't help it, see. But um, weather-wise, glorious. I think it's fair to say that spring is here. I know we shouldn't speak too soon, but um, today has been very spring-like. And uh, yeah, longer days to come, more sunshine, more vitamin D, good for the old mental health. Happy days. As always, thanks for watching. It's mega appreciated. Any questions or comments you have, pop them below and I'll get back to you. Until the next one, look after yourselves. Take care. All the best.